Today, we're building a super amazing, awesome Pariser base. This one is vanilla friendly in that no mods or modified server settings are required. Hey everybody, this is SW Chris. Six months ago, I made a super amazing, awesome Pariser platform based video where I showed how to build this kind of base, but with a 6.5 times building limit. Well, this is the vanilla version of that. So let's take a look at the materials list. The materials is not that large. It's pretty easy to make. And that's because you can only put about, oh, maybe 30 items here on the platform. I know the wiki says 32, but by my count, it's 30 even. So 30 it is, and we're gonna strive to make it so that you can actually put eh, four or five extra items on it after we're all said and done here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Oh, by the way, on the center, my coordinates are 40.9 latitude and 14.5 longitude, just in case you're wondering where you can see this kind of pretty scenery or you can build it right here. Uh, it's generally very friendly around here. The only thing you have to watch out for is maybe a T-Rex or two. All right, so let's start. Let's use our K-mode camera to line up a wood foundation. So. What we're going to do is we're going to line it up with the top left corner here and we want to line it up. Wow, I actually think I got that on the first try. We want to line it up so that the right side is in line with the Pariser's uh, crest. It's it's the middle of its neck right there. OK, so once you believe you have it, go ahead and place it. And then let's go ahead and place another wood platform right here. And once you stand here and Okay, it's doing that weird thing. Uh, once you stand here and the wood line is going right up to the parasher's back and it just stays right in the middle there, you're in the right place. So once you have that, you can demolish this wood floor. And then we're going to use some uh, pillars to push this wood floor foundation down into the uh, parasher saddle. So let's go ahead and push, put two right beside and you can see that they are different heights. So we're gonna do that a couple times. So let's do this a couple times here. So that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, five, six. Okay, and I think we might have it here. Let's see. Um, see what we can do yes see how kind of is the top of it is just right there in the platform that's what we want okay so we're going to place this uh, platform uh, foundation right here we can get rid of this one we don't want to keep it and then we're going to place a platform right here next we're going to get rid of this wood pillar and then we're going to take some hatch frames now these hatch frames are just to make it easier for you to Pilot the Pariser when you have the base built because you can't, uh, using this method, you can't uh, pilot the base uh, through the foundations. It just doesn't work. Okay, so now that we have these two done, we're going to put a ceiling right here and a ceiling right here. And then we are ready for some greenhouse glass. Okay, now to build the greenhouse glass, we're going to put one greenhouse wall right here and we're going to put one right here and then we're going to place some placer objects here to kind of help us place the greenhouse glass because we've got uh, an inverted slope here kind of coming up here so we're going to put these ceilings right here and then we're going to put uh, just you can use thatch if you want but I'm using wood because it's kind of easier to see what I'm doing so that's what the materials call for all right so now we've got this here Let's place a wall here and press Q to cycle the, the snap point. And you may have to look up slightly and probably face, uh, let's see, this direction. There we go. And on this one, you'll need to face this direction. There we go. All right, great. So now we have this here. Next, we need to place a sloped greenhouse wall left on this one and a sloped greenhouse wall right on the right side. And now we place a greenhouse roof right there and a sloped greenhouse roof 
right there. All right, so that looks pretty good so far. Now that we have this in place, we can go ahead and remove these walls. We won't need them. So the supporting walls are now removed, and so are the ceilings. We don't need these on the back bed here, so they're gone. So next step is to go ahead and work on the front windshield. So let's go ahead and start with a greenhouse wall here and here, and then we'll build a temporary wall right here. Um, it doesn't really matter how it goes, as long as it goes well. Um, and then I need a sloped wall right. Uh, depending on how it places, you'll need a sloped, sloped wall right or a sloped wall left. It doesn't really matter because it's temporary, but um, just to make sure I get these placed correctly, I'm going to put a sloped wall right right there and then a sloped greenhouse roof right there and then one right there. All right, so now that we have both of those up, this will need to stay here for now while we build the uh, temporary door, the permanent door frame, the permanent support. So you're going to have to want to get it right about there because you want it to be flush with this greenhouse wall. And so it helps if you stand right here and just look down. And then we'll do our last wall that I have in my inventory right now. We'll get some more. You place that right there. And so once that's up, you can remove that and that. And these will stay up. And now we can work on the ceilings, which is great. So... How is this going to work? Well, you're going to place a ceiling right there. And then you're going to place a hatch frame right there. All right. So next on the back wall here, you need to place a, a greenhouse wall right there. Greenhouse wall right there. And then so you can get out the back. Let's put a door frame here and a greenhouse wall right there. So let's take a moment and look at what we have built so far. As you can see, the structure, the shape is kind of coming together to resemble the more complex version. And it looks pretty cool so far, I think. I really love the, uh, the windows that kind of come out at uh, an angle. It looks a little flat on the back, but if you continue following the steps in this tutorial, which are all optional, by the way, um, we'll do something about that to kind of fix that. As far as we go for the structure, this is pretty much it, okay? So by the way, if you're building this with me on Twitter, really appreciate it if you would go ahead and tweet me at SWChrisMC, and uh, that way I can kind of see who's really building it and who's kind of doing kind of cool stuff with my tutorials. Might encourage me to make some more. It'd be pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and let's continue here. As you can see, I have a whole new set of items on my toolbar, and that's because we're going to start decorating this thing with some useful functionality. So you can make this into a storage thing with a bed, forage, basic, uh, you know, foraging kind of uh, vehicle. But what I'm going to do is kind of turn it into sort of a Howl's Moving Castle type of thing, like we did with the original. So let's go ahead and let's put a rope ladder right here, and then let's use it to climb up to the top. And then I'm gonna stand right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a ballista turret here. And we're gonna place it so that it um, pretty much mostly fits on this platform. Like so. Okay, that, that doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Um, let's go ahead and let's arrange it so that it looks kinda like it does in the thumbnail here. Oops, I just fell down. So, and then we need to add a little ballista bolt here just to kind of complete the look. So when we go down here and we mount it up, you can see, yes, it looks great. Okay, awesome. All right, so next uh, we're going to place the wind turbine. If you don't have the Scorched Earth expansion pack, I don't think you can make this, unfortunately. But um, really the kind of goal here is just kind of place a turbine. So let's place it down here. now. It's kind of hard for me to, yeah, it's hard to see, but you see that little thing kind of sticking down. Um, that's the, uh, basically where the uh, wind turbine thing goes. And if we place it in this direction here, it is actually going to be facing backwards. And that's the way we want it, okay? So I'm gonna try to get this as close as I can. 
Probably right there is about as good as it's going to get. Yeah, probably right there. So I'm going to place it right there. And just place it. It's going to hang off the back, but that's okay. Yeah, and then as long as the uh, stem of the turbine is slightly to the right, that's about as good as we can get. And I think it looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look, see what it looks like here. Yeah, now it's really coming together, I say. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so, oops. Next, um, you're going to want to get the rest of this on some even terrain. And I think I might have just screwed it up. Uh, it's pretty even for the most part. You just don't want to place it at an angle because if you do, uh, you're going to have some trouble. So first, to power our refrigerator, we're going to need um, an electrical cable. So I'm putting just a regular one here. And then since we've gone ahead and we have placed a generator right here, you can't really walk through here and the view from this kind of, um, it's kind of in the way. And when we place our uh, refrigerator, we're not going to need it at all. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this just to kind of free up an extra space to put something else on this uh, Pariser base here. All right, so now that we have that, oh yeah, that's right. We need to put the electrical junction in first. All right, so let's do that. And then let's put in the fridge. So I'm going to line up the fridge with kind of the back. Uh, it's going to obstruct a bit. And then place it right when you think it's kind of even. When the Pariser base, right now he's kind of breathing up. And that makes the platform kind of level, you know. That's when you want to place the uh, items. Because if you don't, they will kind of place crooked and they will kind of stay that way. It's kind of unfortunate, but that is kind of the case. So let's go ahead and let's place our bed here. Let's see. I think I could still place a bed here. Yeah, I can. It's just uh, it's just going to be a little tricky because of the way because of the way uh, the Paris is moving. Okay, there we go. So we got a bed so we can respawn if we die. And folks, I think that is it. Okay, folks, here it is, the final version. As you can see, it really looks pretty slick, I think. The green kind of offsets really nicely against the tangerine, and the tangerine actually matches the ballista, which is pretty cool, I have to say. And, you know, since this is uh, Howl's Flying Castle inspired, let's go ahead and do something fun, shall we? Let's, uh, let's fly. Off we go into the sunset. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to try your hand at the original Pariser vid with the more complex building, check the top right hand corner and click on that video. And don't forget to subscribe for more building guides. They are coming. And if you have any building tips to improve in the tutorial, comment down below. And I'd love to hear from you. My name is SDB Chris. Auf Wiedersehen. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Bye bye.